in this lecture we'll be connecting our database with Django, which in our example will be MySQL. If you don't have an empty MySQL database to use for your project, the first step will be to create one. If you're on a Mac, it's really simple. You'll want to start MySQL by going to the System Preferences, finding the MySQL icon, and clicking Start MySQL. Then you can run SQL Pro as we discussed in the Getting Started section. And then type 127.0.0.1 for the host, root for the user, and then leave the password field blank. Now, if you change your root password, then you won't leave it blank. And if you can't remember what your root password is, you'll want to see this web page to reset it. After logging in, creating a database is extremely simple. Just go to the database column and click add. Create a name for your database, such as test database, and you're good to go. If you're on a Windows PC, you'll want to use MySQL Workbench, as we discussed in the Getting Started section. I don't have a Windows computer, but according to MySQL.com, you can start MySQL by opening the command line and typing the following command. Note that you may need to change the path to match your install location. After MySQL is started, you'll want to open MySQL Workbench. Once inside MySQL Workbench, your screen should look somewhat like the following. Note it may look somewhat different because I'm on a Mac, but hopefully it won't be too different. Add a new connection. For the host name, you'll want to put 127.0.0.1, which is your local machine, with the port 3306. For your username, you'll want to type root and leave the password field blank, unless you change the password. If you need to reset the password, follow the instructions on this page. Once you've established a connection to MySQL, you should see an icon with a plus sign and two cylinders on top of each other like this. Click on this icon, create a new name, and then click Apply. Your new database is now live. The next step is to install the appropriate database bindings. That way, Django can interact with MySQL via Python. To download MySQL Client, you can start your browser and go to the following URL pypy.python.org slash pypy mysql client. Once you're there, you'll see multiple files that you can download to install mysql client. Browse the list and find the one that's appropriate for your settings. If you're on a Mac, what you want to do to install the source is to navigate to where you download the source files, which in our case will be the downloads folder. You'll, you can double click the tar file and you should get a new folder called MySQL client dash 1.3.6 or uh, maybe a different number if you have a different version. So now that the tar file is untarred, what you'll want to do is use the setup script to install it. To do that, you'll open up terminal Navigate to the Downloads folder. Looks like I'm already there. But to do so, you could type cd squiggline slash downloads. Navigate to the um, folder where the MySQL binding was untarred, which would be MySQL. Oh, let's see what it actually was. MySQL client. 1.3.6. And once you're there, you can type python setup.py build. And after that, you'll type sudo python setup.py um, install. After typing in your password, you should then install um, MySQL client. Now, you'll notice that I got an error message saying that it's already installed on my computer. But if you don't have it installed, it should work successfully. Now that you have the binding installed, the next step will be to make sure that MySQL is turned on on your computer. On a MacBook, you can do this by simply going to System Preferences, going to the MySQL option in the bottom right-hand corner, 
and pushing start MySQL server. Now that MySQL is running, we'll want to connect this with the Django. And you can do so by opening up your project folder and going to the settings file. Once you're in the settings folder, now you're going to scroll down until you see the database key. Now we're going to modify this dictionary to tell that we're using MySQL. So instead of the SQL light engine, we're going to type django.database-backends.mysql. For name, we're going to type the name of our database, which in my case will be test database. The next key will be the user the MySQL user that we're going to use to log in. In my case, it'll be the root, which is the default user that's created. The next key will be the password, for the MySQL user, which in this case is root, and in my case will be password1. Now, I highly suggest that you do not use the root user and you create a new user with specific privileges that only allow it to modify the database that you're working on. So once you have the MySQL user and password, next thing you'll want to add is the host, which in our case will just be localhost because we're running to Django and the database off of our local computer. And the final key will be the port. And that will be 3306. It'll be 3306 because that's the standard port that MySQL runs on on a local machine. Make sure you add a final comma after the last key. Click save and your settings file is good to go. And the final step to connect to Django with MySQL or another database will be to run a migrate command. To sync the database with Django, you'll open up terminal. Navigate to your project folder, which in our case is on the desktop. Once you're there, you're going to type python manage.py. Now we're using the manage.py file we talked about in the previous lecture. And you're going to run migrate. What this command does is it keeps track of all the changes to your database settings that you use in your project. And it keeps your database in sync with your settings and models files. To verify that the migrations completed successfully, we're going to use our MySQL graphical user interface to view the changes that have taken place on the database. So my favorite, SQL Pro, which I'll launch here. For host, I'll type in the local host, which is the same as 127.0.0.1. For username, I'll type root. Enter in my password, and I will type in test database. And the port is 3306 by default. And there you go. Look at all these new tables that have been added automatically by the migrate command. Django is now connected to our MySQL database. We're good to go.